you. You've jetted in from New York. Oh, Hi. Lovely to oh, thank you very much. You too. You all look really very smart, I have to say. How is it to be here? What's it been like in training and everything? Oh, it's been fantastic. We have been uh, working our butts off. Um, <laughs> you know, um, working muscles I didn't even know I had. So, there we go. Everyone's so excited. This is absolutely nuts. Uh, the energy is here. I mean, you can hear it. It's amazing. Isn't it? It is. Listen to that. Claudio Ranieri. Premier League winning manager, what's it been like working under him, Nicky? Oh, it's been amazing. Uh, I mean, last year we had Jose, Claudio's come in, and uh, as Premier League manager, you know, he's kind of drilled us, given us some great tactics. And the great thing about this course, you're probably from charity, is that everybody wants to win so badly. The managers want to win, the players want to win. I think we're in for a good game uh, this year, definitely. I think it was the best first session we've ever had. Day two of training and the rest of the world welcomes back Dutch footballing legend Edgar Davids. Get off your phone. But this is no holiday, yeah? No, definitely okay. no holiday. Boot camp. <laughs> All right, lads, day two. We've got a few new arrivals today. For those of you who are not used to this kind of thing, like yourself, Edgar, don't worry, we'll take it easy on you today. Um, <laughs> Ready? In no time at all, all the newbies have settled in, and Yapstam even has his very own celebrity lookalike. It's brilliant now that we've got Gareth Thomas and we've got Yapstam together. we got double trouble. And if that wasn't distracting enough, along come the England team. If I were English at the moment, or playing for England, I'd be very worried. Say it! Go on, Ollie. <laughs> Look who's getting absolutely mobbed, isn't that wonderful? Now, of course, yeah, yeah, sure. Sorry, that's good. We go, we're on the second. There you go, Nicky. Of course, the reason why Palais are celebrities and legends, thousands are here, of course, is to support UNICEF, world's leading organisation. Cammy, my old son, great to see you. Welcome to Soccer Aid. You're a new boy, I know that. So let me tell you this is Brad's guide to Soccer Aid. He'll put words underneath. I hope so. He will. That's enough of that. Rule one. Cammy, know your players. Two mates of mine. I let you, this is Cammy. Cammy, hey, Cammy. this is... Hey, how are this you? Is this is uh, Nicky. 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 This is my mate Nicky. Nicky, and they're great, the lads. I love the pop style. Niall. Niall, of course, spoke again with him, that's how I remember him. And of course, the boys are from Boyzone. So once they. The Welsh, they're funny, see? So. I just want to kick it off and say thanks very much uh, for having me this week. I've had an unbelievable time. This has been my first one and probably one of the most enjoyable weeks I've had ever. I'm now going to pass it over to Claudio Ranieri. The lineup is uh, Dida, Morrison. Cafu, Stam, Shane, Evans, Byrne, Davids, Serge, Ronaldinho, Ward. I wasn't really expecting to, to be in the starting lineup, but I am. Uh, I'm playing right back and I'm so excited. As someone who comes from the theater, to be playing in the theater of dreams, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a really special day. Let's give it everything from the beginning and let's take them down. Mm -hmm. Rest of the world for the win! This year, the forfeit for losing the penalty shootout is absolutely horrendous. It's not an evening with Bradley Walsh in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> it is an ice bath. Oh. Ooh, ice. So these guys real men or just pampered celebs? I think we know which. Rest of the world, you're going first. Come on, sir. First up, Kasabian guitarist Serge Pissorno. Oh. Yeah, not the best sound check. Next, Soccer Aid veteran Jonathan Wilkes. And England are actually leading in a penalty shootout. Can DJ Ricky Hayward Williams level things up? Ooh, he's not going to want to play that one back. Has Mark got the right stuff when it comes to penalties? No. Next up, singer Niall Horan. Luckily for him, that was only going to go in one direction. Sorry. For England, it's Ollie Mers. Yes! Ooh, nice fist pump. 
Can Nicky Burns' penalty top that? Looking confident? They ignore what I just said. If England score this, they win. Stand up, John Bishop. England are laughing. The rest of the world, they're not. Who's going to go in the ice bath? I'm going to turn my back, and I'm hoping that one of you will volunteer. One, two, three. <laughs> Finally, Shane Ward takes a lead. Really, Shane? Yes. All right, fantastic. <laughs> we never win it. It's a tradition. We lose the penalty shootout, we win the match. Already unbelievable, folks. <laughs> You're going to text, <laughs> give 10 to 70750. Oh, oh, you're going to text, give 10 to 70750. Oh, oh, that 10 pounds will be added to your phone bill. And I'm going to text, I'm going to text now to Unison. 10 pounds, which is give 10 to 70750. Oh, it's on its way now, Clive. And I'm going to do it during the course of the evening. We're going to do it again and again during the course of the evening. Well, that Old Trafford Tunnel has been a, a gathering point for many great names and their pre-match nerves down the years. Uh, football theatre for dreams of both club and international players. He knows this place well, he's going to get to know it better. We've had major rugby occasions, headline concerts, but no event that brings together such a variety of talents, megastars of stage and screen, shoulder to shoulder with Truly, some of the greatest players ever to take to the field here. And all united tonight by a common cause, the United Nations' own children's charity, UNICEF, the UN's Children's Emergency Fund, that's what it stands for. A never-ending emergency in many parts of the world, and an emergency that is never of the children's own making. These players are drawn from four continents and from very different backgrounds and backstories. Most are parents themselves, some now able to provide their children with the luxury lives they could only have dreamt about during their own childhoods because of their sporting and entertainment talents. And because of that, they're all happy to be part of this event that celebrates its 10th anniversary tonight by looking to add significantly to the six and a half million pounds that Robbie Williams and his team at Soccer Aid have already raised on behalf of UNICEF. Six and a half million pounds that you have raised through your donations. Let's move that figure up tonight. <laughs> Walking out at Old Trafford in front of thousands and thousands of fans is a new experience for three or four of these. There's a few soccer aid damages in the starting lineups, but this is not an experience that you can ever get used to. Guys like Holly Mears and Cedric Pisorno will have taken the stage in front of even bigger crowds, but with a microphone or a guitar in hand. For the 12 celebrities in these teams, these are massive steps outside their comfort zones. They will be feeling a, a totally different nervousness right now. Oh, Clive, what an atmosphere. This is absolutely electric. It's the match that matters. It matters as a fundraising event. And all the players have watched UNICEF films during team meetings aware of tonight's cause but they have their own causes too because there are some famous reputations on the line this evening these are successful men in their various fields and they all want success on this field tonight none of them are here to make up the numbers none of them have trained just for the fun of it their focus has grown over the four days together on winning the trophy that they walked past a moment ago they all work in competitive businesses Pre-match rendition of Abide With Me is a soccer aid tradition. This evening the rendition is led by Britain's Got Talent winners, Calabro.
Michael, Jamie, no, and Matt, please, Thomas, Calabro. The special guest for tonight's Soccer Aid is very special indeed. A unique football man to grace a unique football occasion. Pele is in Manchester. He has worked as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. He may just be the greatest footballer that ever played. 75 years young and guest of honour at a match that's graced by three fellow Brazilian World Cup winners, Dino Cafu and Ronaldinho, are all in the rest of the world squad. This is quite a privilege. Oh, you're not wrong, Clive. My hero, the team in 1970 that played Italy was one of the best football matches I have ever, ever seen. And Pelé was the man of the match, without a doubt. Here come those uh, Brazilians, there's Cafu, who's right up there amongst the greatest Brazilians. And when I said that this match features some of the finest...